uh, just pulled off the side of the highway, found uh, some geothermal activity pouring out the side of the mountain. And uh, there's more and more as we get closer and closer to Yellowstone National Park. Beautiful views, beautiful landscapes. Lots to behold. On the ride up here in the snow coach, they, uh, they take really good care of you. They stop and make sure you get to see the wildlife and uh, the beautiful surroundings that make Yellowstone National Park the treasure it is. Well today we, uh, we took a snow coach out for a ski drop where they take you out to some of the further sites and you can ski around different areas without having to do a, a huge full day mission slog and be totally worn out. With your base here in the middle of Yellowstone Park, you can, you can go and cross-country ski all over the place. Um, it's a really fun thing to do. They have a series of interconnecting trails. You can get out and see rivers and waterfalls and things that normally you wouldn't have access to go see if you're just walking. Uh, when you actually get out to Old Faithful and you see it, there's this big boardwalk around it and uh, the geyser's right in the middle. You can't actually go up right to the edge of the geyser because it's a little dangerous. But, I mean, you stand back and you get to see it shoot hundreds of feet up in the air. It's always neat seeing these geysers as a cartoon and then coming up here and, and seeing them in real life and you know this place is pretty historic it's it's world famous and uh, if you have the means to come down and check it out you definitely should so the next stop here is uh, Bridger Bowl and couldn't be more excited. I've had enough of being a, being a tourist. I need to get out and back on my skis. <laughs> 